Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. I'm John Zimmerman, and this is my second video from my October 31st visit to Utrecht in the Netherlands. And we're gonna be riding from the central area of Utrecht out to the village of Houten. Now, uh, in the video, I'll be telling you a little bit more about Houten. Uh, it is quite special. Uh, I'll just give you a little teaser. It's a new village or new urbanism type development that started in the 1980s. There's a really cool feature that uh, you're gonna learn about. And then we're going going to uh, go through Houghton and then get back out into the countryside and make a loop back into Utrecht. So let's get right to it. Enjoy. heading out of town here, out of uh, uh, Utrecht, on my way to Houghton. It's going to take about uh, 30 minutes or so uh, to make it there, and uh, looking forward to uh, making this trip. I think uh, my last visit was in 2018. Uh, it's sprinkling just a little bit, but uh, not too bad. A little liquid sunshine. And this is a uh, familiar uh, corner, familiar intersection. This is where uh, we paused during the 2019 study tour. Uh, Kyle was given a nice little orientation to the delegates uh, about uh, what it was like to ride that very first day in Utrecht. Riding a bicycle here is much more fluid than you know A to B. In some places, I've heard it referred to as the dance. And it's about it's about negotiation with your eye contact. It's a, it's a social negotiation of space and speed and time. And the, the reason is because the bicycles are moving so slow, it allows us to make split second decisions about how to merge in with one another uh, much easier than, than you do if you're traveling very fast by bicycle. Again, highly recommend that you check that video out. Uh, there's some wonderful footage there from Utrecht, also in Rotterdam and in Amsterdam, and it's a lot of fun. And again, the link is in the video description below. During this segment, uh, pay particular attention to the number of students that you see riding along this path. It's really extraordinary to see uh, how empowering these types of longer distance uh, separated bikeways are for helping kids get to and from school.
All right, as you can see, we're kind of in uh, more of a suburban context now, outside the city center of Utrecht, making our way to Houghton. And it looks like we have a bus transit station here. And proof that the Netherlands has big highway systems. They just put bike, pedestrian, and train bridges connectivity over them. And you can see we're going under another set of freeways. Again, we were prioritized in the sense that uh, we didn't have to go up or down. We were able to just continue rolling comfortably on our path. Here we are on the outskirts of Houghton and a nice super narrow bicycle priority street. Very much in a rural context through the farmland. You can see the horses in the pasture and many kids getting to and from school. And yes, that motor vehicle driver was going much too fast. And here's another good look at this pathway going through the countryside 
a wonderful example of how to do rural connectivity. Rural. There's your dairy farm over there. Some Holsteins. And some sheep off to the left. So this is possible. And you can see the constant stream of people riding this path. And to be clear, this is a 25, 30 minute route that I'm going from the center, downtown, Old Town, Utrecht area, out to Helton. And uh, yeah, it's quite comfortable when this level of <laughs> facility, protection, beautiful area, rural you can also see that we have lights here so at night this is lit up so that uh, people can use this to get to their meaningful destinations including home if they live here at this farm and you might wonder well how does the farmer deal with this well if they need to drive a tractor on the feet's pad here, the feet's trot, then they do. And uh, they just go slowly. Again, 30 kilometer per hour speed limit in this area. But for cities around the globe, if you're looking for examples of, well, yeah, what about urban and rural, the difference between urban and rural environments? Well, Here's your rural example and suburban and urban all in one ride. It's very doable. Just have to have the political will to make it happen. And you can see that this was nothing more than a small, narrow, most likely unpaved, you know, road at some point in time. Very, very comfortable, quite beautiful, and and here we go. Here's some chickens. That's a big backyard chicken operation. <laughs> My chickens will be so happy. And if you're wondering how long that last stretch was, that was 1.2 kilometers. And then this stretch is gonna be one kilometer in length. I'll let you know when we that one kilometer is done. But I'm only highlighting that because it gives you some appreciation for the distance that these, uh, these pathways are, are traveling. And technically we are in Houghton. So you can see housing on either side. And again, the, the real point of this development was to be an incredibly car light environment. Oh. 
people do have the ability <laughs> people do have the ability to drive Again, the context of this development is that uh, families may have a car and that's fine. They just can't drive through the center of the city. There's a ring road around and that's uh, how they are uh, able to keep the city center quite calm. And as you'll see when we get into the actual city center, this is a development that was constructed relatively recently in the 1980s and 90s and so it's not going to look old it's relatively modern but it's built on the principle of car light living and it's reflected in what you're going to see in just a moment So up above you can see the train tracks, you can actually see the freight train cars that uh, passed me earlier while I was on the Feats Pod. And now we're in downtown Houghton. And you can see all of the bikes. Folks are shopping at the grocery store in downtown, getting coffee and drinks. We saw lots of kids getting to and from school. Again, not an extremely attractive architectural construct, but also not terrible. Wonderful density here in this part of the city. And as you'll see in just a moment, there are some single family homes as well. A nice orientation to the water, as you'll also see. And again, one of the things that I love about this city is you just see kids of all ages riding about all the time. It's certainly the same Dutch concepts that you see in all the big name cities, whether it be Utrecht, Amsterdam, Delft, but in a very small village, modern village, new village, construct. And now you can see the sections where the automobiles are able to reach the residences. And in a moment here, you'll be able to see, oh, here, check this out. Nice green roof. That's pretty cool. In a moment here, you'll be able to see the water, a key feature of the neighborhood here.
And in this part of the path, we're right on the edge of the developed area. You'll see some of the housing still on the left-hand side of the pathway. And then it's pretty much wilderness over on the right-hand side. And as we take this bend, we're going to sort of pass under a major street in the area here, and then come up to an intersection. And really, we are on the rural fringe at this point and uh, you'll be able to see a sign here in just a moment that basically says the uh, Utrecht Science Park is just about six kilometers away. Just gonna swing a U-turn here so that you can get a view of this gentleman on a mobility scooter uh, coming in from this rural edge lane road. And again, now we're on the edge of the city, the development, and now on the rural edge, the divide. See the agriculture on the right and the left. And this is how you do it on a small rural country road. Pretty darn cool. And I can verify that it smells very much like a farm. Not in a bad way. So very curious is to see what uh, this looks like up ahead. from a cycling infrastructure perspective. More chickens and sheep and a plastic cow. And in case you're wondering, I'm just kind of exploring. Don't really have a set route in mind. Just wanted to see what this looked like. And if you can see the sign up there, it's uh, seven kilometers to Utrecht. That's where we're headed. Another rural edge lane road and uh, let's give it a try. Should be fun. <laughs> There's a mom heading back into the tract or into Houghton. She turned right there, so she's heading back towards the village, taking the uh, more scenic route. You see a sport cyclist up on a training ride. And you can see how incredibly comfortable it must be to be out here training for sport cycling, you know, on roads that are like this. You know, I love the country roads, county roads out in Boulder. Um, I would much prefer something like this much slower speeds. Again, this is signed for 60 kilometers per hour. Given that it's an edge lane road and two-way traffic, the motor vehicle drivers know they need to proceed with caution because if they just let their speed get too high, they could have a head-on collision with another motor vehicle. So nothing better to create a safer environment, you know, out here in the rural roads than for drivers to feel that if they don't pay attention, if they don't keep their speeds down, they could kill themselves. So it's quite an effective strategy.
little equestrian area here. Some horses. Equestrian center. It's like a nice little restaurant there. Okay, here's another nice little context rural road we've got a nice wide shared street situation feet strut and we've got trees protecting us from the fast moving traffic we have the train tracks right over here and some agriculture businesses in between again very very comfortable you see all ages and abilities riding through here as well as a continuous stream of recreation cyclists getting some training rides in and you can get many many kilometers of of uh, training rides in out here and this surface is super super smooth very well maintained quite a pleasure to ride on oh and by the way we're about five kilometers outside of the downtown area of utrecht and yeah, it was a good little uh, formation there you see how the parents surround their daughter help break the wind make it nice and comfortable And that was one of the ice trains, so one of the higher speed trains in the area. Hello there, doggy. <laughs> He's getting a ride. <laughs> And here's some more kids coming back from school. And once the kids get into middle school and high school, they may be traveling, you know, three, five kilometers, maybe more to get to schools, depending on which school is the best school for them. And as you can see from the sign back there, we are now in the city limits of Utrecht. Still have about three kilometers to the downtown area.
And here's a nice uh, example of an edge lane road in an urban residential area. Beautiful trees, quite comfortable. Okay, we're back in the trek proper, headed towards the train station. Nice little center walking path along the street in an allay of trees. Very nice. You can see some of the high rise buildings in the distance there, getting close to the train station, central train station, and the main business hub, modern main business hub. There you go. Rabo Bank and a few other big office buildings.
is a, a red concrete path. You don't see many red concrete paths. All right, that's all she wrote. I am back at Utrecht Central Station. Back to where the day started. We can see over here behind me some of the overflow bike parking that we started with. Uh, huge thanks and shout out to Herrick for uh, joining me this morning, taking me along for a nice long ride. And uh, all right, let's go catch my train back to Delft. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video of my ride out to Houghton and back. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, <laughs> leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, it'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. I'll be back soon with another video from the Netherlands. And in fact, I believe it is my November 1st visit uh, with Jason Slaughter out uh, with not just bikes in, uh, we go for a ride around Amsterdam. So until well then, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, buy me a coffee, YouTube super thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.